Oh, rotate your phone. Hi, <laughs> this is Judy Pogue, and we are here tonight for the first Bible study, September 4th, and we're going to be doing Awaken Sleeping Beauty, and we're going to be talking about how when women wake up, things change. So uh, we have a ranch in McKinney, Texas, and so our barn is open up tonight, and we're doing a live Facebook. It's also my husband's hot rod garage, but anyway. Uh, I don't know if we should, but we can look it all around. Anyway, so here we go, and uh, we just hope that uh, you that have read the book, we've had great response, and we're going to go around tonight and meet some of these people. They're from all over. So we're excited about this book, and we're really excited. This is the first time I've got to teach it. So we've launched it in Washington and Brazil and, and Texas, but this is the first time we've got to teach it. So. I'm excited and I hope that you had a great Labor Day. We actually got to be with the governor yesterday and uh, Ted Cruz, the senator, and also uh, Ken Paxton and Angela Paxton. So, um, I don't know, it's just been a good time. We've had a really good time, but we're ready to get into the fall and get with it. So I'm gonna go around and uh, we're gonna talk to a few people. So, have you read any of the book? I have read that. Well, what did you think about it? I read it in one day. <laughs> <laughs> you read it one day. <laughs> no. Did you say it all night? No, I just started that morning and I, I never stopped. Oh my. <laughs> I think, folks, that's a good one. She loved the book. She didn't put it down. All right, that's a good report. Right. You haven't read it yet. I have not. No, not yet. Okay. She's a friend. We've known her for a long time since at Covenant Church. Yes. And she's here as a guest tonight, so we hope you love the book. Oh, I think I will. Oh, all right. Well, Diane, my good friend. Daughter, have you read it yet? I did. What did you think? I loved it a lot. And uh, the thing I like the most was about when you talked about forgiveness. Mm. And how you forgive people. Yes. Well, you know, forgiveness has, it really ties us down if we don't let that go. Because it hurts us the rest of our lives. But only the Lord can do that. Because a lot of times we've been so hurt, people have not forgiven. Okay, um, I need to turn down the sound just a minute. I think she's going to turn on the sound. But when you don't forgive someone, it ties you so so strongly that you uh, you always are trying to get over it. And you know what? A lot of us have been hurt so bad that we need to. Um, I mean, we feel like we really have a right to, you know, to be upset or hate them. But when we come to the Lord, we lay that down. So I'm glad you said that because that that was a changing part of my life is when I was able to forgive. So, Marjorie, how are you doing? She said, "I'm so glad to be here." I'm loving this. Not only that, I get to read this, but I get to study with Judy. Oh, she's great. Thank you so much. So, Marjorie, tell them what you do. I work for Global Advance. And basically what we do is we are an international ministry. We go all over the world training right. leaders so that the people that live there, the people we call boots on the ground, right. they get to help train and lift up others so that everybody can know who our Lord Jesus Christ is. Right. And so Global Advance is uh, Jonathan and David Shibley. And Dana and I actually travel a lot with them too. It's really blessed our life. And then of course Kevin, Dana, Diana's husband, went with us a lot of places too. So it's been great. So, get away. All right, Autumn. I want. We're on Facebook Live. So, so this it's is dinner, right? Everybody knows Autumn. So she's my good friend too. And Autumn, tell them what you do. Well, one of the things I do is climb mountains to right. raise funds for women and she children does. that are enslaved and trafficked. And um, I just got back from Bryce and Zion. Where is that? That is in Utah. Wow. Wow. Beautiful place. But wow. yeah. It's, in the, it's with the Freedom Challenge. And it's yeah. all of us women fighting for freedom for women and children. And that's what we're doing. And man, this is why I'm here. Because I've God. been reading your book and it's what I believe and I live and I'm... And it's the truth. So oh. if you're not here, you should be. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, this is one of my dear friends, and she is she's really a missionary. She goes all over the world helping women. So I am so happy. I'm thrilled to I be love here. Her. I love you, darling. I love her. And I'm just just playing on God doing great money. Thank you so much. So Sean, yes. have you read the book? I have you read the book. So what do you think about it? You know, the book just inspired me so much, Judy. And I, that's why one of the reasons I was so excited about this Bible study that you wrote the companion study guide. 
because I know it's going to just just mean the world to us, inspiring us in our Christian walk and to rise up women of God. And, and well, tell them what you do. Tell them what you do. What's your business? I'm in the health and nutrition business. And uh, I'd love to change lives too, yep. in, a, a, in the better way, you know, for inside and out. Right? That's right. Change them health-wise, and then also share the gospel. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank I love you. you. Love you. She's a dear friend. Uh, over 30 years. Uh, maybe a hundred. <laughs> But she's been one of my dear, dear friends for a long time. I'd like you to tell them what you do. Have you read the book? No, I haven't. She has not. About these okay, say something in Spanish. Tell people they need to get the book in Spanish. Necesitan conseguir el libro en español y leerlo. Va a ser de mucha bendición. So we do have the book in Spanish. And we have the Bible study in Spanish. So uh, Amazon.com or GDPOG.com. GDPOG. Okay, Michelle, you have to tell me. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm excited. So this is Michelle, and she has an incredible job. She goes all over the world, I guess, now. She's doing all kinds of things. So tell them what you do. Um, I help people get their stories out, basically, to, to get their, you know, share their story to make a difference in other people's lives. And so I have a publishing company, and I do speaking, and there's a uh, all kinds of fun stuff, just just to help people figure out their gifts and what they can give to somebody else to make it different. So, uh, I want to tell you, she wrote the forward of my book. So, she's the one that first encouraged me to write, and then when I was getting ready to do this, she wrote the forward. So, she's an incredible friend, incredible uh, ambassador for God all over. So, I'm so thankful that she's here. So, I love her a lot. Well, I'm proud of you. And I just believe there's a lot of energy in this room. I'm just looking around <laughs> from all over. Hi! Hi. How are you, Sharon? I haven't seen you a long time. Thank you for being here. Bree, thank you for helping us. She helped us a lot today. Thank you so much. Y'all are in the back corner here. So. Okay, I'm trying to find Courtney. Courtney, Hi. come here. <laughs> Hi. We need you to tell us what you do. And Oh, she's married to a pretty interesting guy. Pretty. He's pretty. Too. <laughs> I am. I'm married to the president of the power team. We get to travel the world and share the gospel. They break bricks and they rip phone books and they do all kinds of crazy feats to capture attention. And then we share the gospel. That's right. And that's our life. And you have read any of the book? You read it. Oh, are you kidding me? She read it. So can you feel the excitement? I hope wherever you are in the world, you can feel the excitement of awakening sleeping beauty because we're waking people up yes. one by one, person by person. That's right. And we're out there, we're telling those people, you can do it, you can make it. It doesn't matter what the enemy threw at you, you just throw it back at him and you get the armor of the Lord and you fight. That's right. And that's on the gloves. Wake up. <laughs> exactly. Because, because we're not alone. We're not alone. And as women, we really need to connect. We need to understand how powerful we are together. It's true. Right? And, and we live in such a social media world right. that there's so much fake and facade. And, and it's just time to become transparent and real. We all struggle. And right. uh, let's talk about it. Let's, right. let's wake up like this book is telling us and, and fight through that. Let's do it. Get the book if you don't have it. <laughs> and we need to say hi to our Chrissy Wonder Woman tonight. Chrissy, this is her mom is here. This is Wonder Woman tonight. She's here tonight. <laughs> Yes, we are, and I told her that she needs to come I know, out. we can just fly her down or something. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll get her one of these. So her daughter is also in ministry, and she does the Wonder Woman. She spoke at our conference as well, and this is her sweet mom, and she's here because you're close. You live really close. Oh, yes, we do. Yes. So did you read any of the book? I read the whole book. All right. It's highlighted. Oh, wow. Underlined. <laughs> All the pronouns have been changed oh. by me. <laughs> me, me. Well, that's why we need to do it. First person. Yes. Love it to death, and y'all need to come out and you need to listen to the whole entire message wow. that we have here on Facebook Live. And uh, come join us next week because you yes. missed it this That's week. That's right. <laughs> you can jump in anytime. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. So, uh, I don't know how we're doing on time, but I just want you to understand this is a very special night. And God, well, I think we're about there. So, everybody, we love you. We're praying for you. And we're just going to believe that this fall is going to be the best time you've ever had. I know it's been a really hard time for a lot of people. 
But I want to tell you, it's also that God is working. He's working through your problems. So just understand that God is listening. Just pray and ask Him to help you. And whatever we can do, stay in touch with us. Read the book. And um, just God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye.